Hello, my name is Lindsay Perez, and I'm here with Mr. Paldino to discuss the virtual club fair. Good morning. What is morning. the virtual club fair? So the virtual club tour is something that we've come up with to replace a usual activity fair. Uh, if, if you think about it, when you have an activity fair, it's in the gym, we have stations, students are able to go to each table to see what each club or organization offers if they'd be interested in. Uh, since we're in this virtual world right now, uh, we're trying to come up with something to replace that. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as in person, uh, but we'll be sending out a link to everybody on Monday uh, when they have a break in their schedule or after they've done their virtual sessions, they can go in, go on the website uh, and just look at the clubs to see what they're interested in. They'll be able to click on the link. It'll pop. It'll take them to another Web page uh, so that they can read a little bit about the club and also give them a chance to sign up for it virtually. Uh, and that'll be sent right to the advisor then, so the advisor can make another uh, communication with them to see if they're really interested in joining or if they wanna join into a, a meeting someday in the future, uh, see if they're interested in joining the club. Sounds good. What clubs will be participating in this club fair? Well, right now we've left it open to all of our clubs that we had last year if they want to participate in it. Uh, some clubs in a virtual world are a little harder to manage uh, than in person. Uh, right now we have about 15 clubs that are participating, and I expect that to go up a little bit more uh, before we launch on Monday. So it's really going to be a little bit of something for everyone. If you want to get involved in something outside of you know the virtual school hours or environment uh it'll give you it'll give everybody something to do how long will the virtual club fair last we're going to leave the link open for two weeks uh so it's if you miss it monday it's not like you're out of luck it, it, it's a self-guided tour uh so you go at your own leisure at your own speed um but at some point, we do have to start the clubs uh, with the advisors uh, to give everybody a chance to have something to do. So we're anticipating a two week period for students to go in, see if they like a club, if anything's of interest to them. And then at that point, we'll shut down the link. When do we meet our clubs and on what site? We'll be utilizing Google Classroom uh, for the meetings and everything will go through Google Meet for the virtual for the virtual meetings, the live sessions. Uh, and each each club, each organization meets at different times and that'll be posted on their Google Classrooms and communicated to their members uh, once they sign up. Is there gonna be one-on-one -on -one with the clubs? Uh, yeah, so it just like you're working in a class, you know, the teacher, the advisor will be on this on the screen along with everybody else that joins in for that session it's just we're trying to make it as real as in person in that meeting as we can how are we going to communicate with our club uh so once again everything's going to be going through the google classroom uh so there's discussion pages on there that you can you know communicate with people your uh classmates your uh, advisor um we just want everything to be very transparent and upfront that everybody knows what's going on. Will there be a lack of the usual clubs due to being it virtual? Right now, there's not as many clubs running virtually as there were in person. Um, and yet again, that has to do something with the environment that we're in right now. Uh, some clubs running virtually are much harder uh, than running in person. Uh, but again, that said, I think we have a good mix of clubs that are able to run virtually at this point uh, and that have indicated that they want to, that there, there still will be something for everybody to join. How did you arrange this event? What was the process to set up the virtual club fair? Well, the process is still ongoing. Uh, like everything else, we're, we're in uncharted waters here. Uh, so we're, we're trying to make it as easy and seamless as we can for the student uh, when they're going into the into the virtual tour. Uh, so we'll be linking everything on the activities page of the high school website. Um, and off of that, it'll take you to different branches or different clubs at that point that you can go into. Um, 
We're trying to make it a little different than just going to the web page and clicking on a club and seeing what it's about. Uh, so we're trying to make it with some kind of interactive element uh, and we're, we're almost there. Uh, it, it's been a process, but I think we're, we're at the point now where it should be somewhat seamless. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, you know, just during this two week period, you know, if you're interested in doing something outside of the virtual school hours, uh, take a look to see what we have to offer. I, like I said, there's a lot of things there. Uh, and, you know, hopefully once we get into the in-person sessions again, you know, uh, virtual clubs will translate right into the after school clubs again. Uh, so, you know, take advantage of, of what we have right now and sign up for as much as you want. Uh, we have a lot of teachers, a lot of advisors uh, uh, licking their chops, ready to go. Can you remind us how we can participate? Sure. Mr. Roth will be sending a link on his uh, usual morning announcements uh, starting Monday. I know he's already mentioned it in his past announcements this week, um, exactly where to go to to look for the activity tour that we're calling it. Um, and just go from there. But it will be on the high school activities and club page um, for anyone that may want to look at it uh, off away from that link. And it will just it will be very self-explanatory. Click the link, click the club that you're looking at, and it'll take you right to a description of it. Uh, some advisors are doing videos uh, to describe what their clubs are or their organizations are. And there'll be sign up sheets, Google Forms right there at the club site for you just to, if you're interested, sign up and the advisors will uh, put you on their Google Classroom site. Well, thank you for talking with us today, Mr. Paldino, and thank you all for watching. Remember to come out to the club fair and get involved.